Okay, so I wanted to discuss with you guys really quickly about drugs in the workplace. And now, before I even start this, I realize, despite what you think, I'm not an idiot, okay? I realize that what I'll, everything that I'm about to say is there's all kinds of gray area and everything is arguable. However, there are some basics that I just find really fucking retarded. Now, also before I start, I am not attacking people for taking drugs. And I know there's going to be a whole bunch of people that are going to hear what they want to hear and not what I'm actually saying. So I am not attacking people for taking drugs, but I am attacking companies that allow certain drugs. Now, as we all know, if you go to apply for a job, take a drug test and test positive for like weed, heroin, crack, cocaine, you ain't getting hired. However, with a prescription, we do have people at jobs getting hired that are on like narcotics all day. And now I know there's probably like a hundred handfuls of people right now that are on prescription like pain medication and everything that are like, <gasps> you son of a bitch. My doctor prescribes you that medication because I am in so much pain all day long. Okay? I have a prescription. I mean, okay, you're not on crack and heroin and fucking weed and whatever, but I guess what I'm kind of saying is you sh they, companies should either allow everything or kind of like nothing at all, or at least be a little bit more stricter on this prescription narcotics thing. I guess what I mean by allow everything is to be able to do whatever you do on your own time, prescription or non-prescription, and just not come to work fucked up. However, I really don't appreciate the fact that I know plenty of people in all fields, in all, you know, all kinds of fields of jobs, from hospitals to banks, just to all kinds of important shit that are on prescription narcotics. And, <laughs> I mean, face it, you're... I know, like I said before, if you have a prescription for it and you may, there's plenty of pain management, okay, for work. Now, if you want to go home and take your fucking, all your pills or whatever, that's fine. But I really just don't agree with people being fucked up on pills all day at work. I don't care. I know it might kind of sound fucked up, but uh, if you can't pain manage for a couple hours of work, then I mean, maybe disabilities for you. And uh, I don't know about anywhere else, but I mean, New York passes the shit out like fucking candy. So <laughs> I am not trying to be insensitive because I do realize that there are people in a lot of pain and I do realize that everybody needs a fucking job. However, this is one of my examples, okay? Oxycontin. Oxycontin is one molecule away from heroin. It is synthetic heroin. Now, if you can't get a job on heroin, then why should you be able to have a job on synthetic heroin. Does that make any fucking sense? And the only thing that separates it all is one molecule in a prescription. You're still fucked up. And it also doesn't just affect you, but it affects everybody. Because when you're fucked up, you're obviously not clear-headed. So your job is foggy. Every Everyone that you work with has to, like, my last job, the assistant manager was on what was it? Morphine and I want to say hydrocodone or Percocet or something like that. She was on both. Now, this woman was fucked up. It was so it's out of her mind. She couldn't even do the job correctly because she was so fucked up and just everywhere all the time. And uh, it affects everybody else because everybody else had to pick up her fucking slack and fix her mistakes because she was fucked up all day. But that's okay because she has a prescription. I don't know. I'm just pretty, I'm pretty much done with this subject. It's not even really all that. I mean, it just, I just don't get it. How you can not allow one thing just because it's illegal, which, I mean, there's technicalities in that, but still. I mean, prescription narcotics are, <laughs> the government makes money on it. That's the only fucking difference to me, really. It's just the government taxes that, and they don't tax heroin and fucking crack and all that shit. Either way... I just think that they need to fucking reassess prescription narcotics in the workplace. I don't know. I mean, I don't know. I'm just confused as to why 
it's okay to take Percocet and uh, like Oxycontin and still be able to work and that's worse than weed but you can't get a job if you smoke weed it just seems stupid to me I don't understand it but uh you know whatever goodbye